Welcome to Any Resources 6 video on how to make a browser based MORG. This is Halls of Valhalla. This video is going to be short and sweet. All we're doing is going to be making adding experience for every time we kill a creature so we can start doing level it up. I want to get into some more exciting stuff, but we need to get the small stuff out of the way. I do want to start on CSS style sheets and getting our pages prettier. But to start this, uh, go ahead and start up your WAMP server. Go once it starts, open up PHP My Admin, go to your tutorial database and you'll be faced with our two tables which is creatures and players uh... the first thing we want to do if you notice i don't know if you guys have tried to create a new player or not once this loads up but when you do create a new player you'll notice that the hit points are zero the attack is zero and the defense is zero uh... i went ahead and created a new a, a new character and tested everything out but the reason why that is is if you go if you go ahead and open up your context and you open up the register.php it will actually uh, let's go ahead and close this out and you open up your reg user it and you look in here where it actually inserts into players the new data there is nothing to add any there we didn't add any default so what you do is and I went ahead and added it here after your experience add attack defense and hit points and then and then make the values whatever value you want I put five attack Five defense and 30 hit points. Later on, we're going to add classes that'll change this. They'll, th that'll turn that into variables. For for now, let's just throw that. Just make it a standard. The other other option that you can do on that is to actually uh, make your default. And if you go to structure, and I don't recommend this because this turns your game into a static game instead of a little bit of dynamics in there. This just makes it to where it's pretty much. Every every character is going to have the same. You can actually change the default to five, five, and thirty. But who wants to do that? The next thing we actually want to do is go back here. We want to actually make sure you save that, and then you can go ahead and create a new cre a new character. Unless you want to continue with player one or whoever you had, but this will start making your players all have the five, five, and the thirty for your attack and defense and hit points. The uh, The next thing we want to do is we want to go to creatures or creatures table. We need to add experience to the creatures table. The reason why I don't use just e exp or hp is that MySQL has problems with certain names. Exp causes huge issues. Uh, shid causes issues. Hp causes issues. Different field names cause different problems, so I like to add a little little bigger. You know, add the er to exp so it doesn't cause me issues later on. Uh, you may have been killing off your creatures and adding new ones, so you should know how to do this. But just create a, create two new creatures called Orc uh, and Goblin. Recreate those. Give them you know how many ever hit points you want the attack, and then give them some experience, say around 30 or 15. You will need to add this new table. Uh, you by now you guys should know how to do this, but if you don't, just go to structure, add or go down here, and then it'll create the new one. And you just exp er. I made it a length of 12. You don't need 12, but that should be good enough. Then you can go in and if you've already got your creatures created, edit them and, and, and change that. But I'm not going to go into that because you guys know about all that. The next thing we want to do is open back up our context. <coughs> and we want to, you can go ahead and once you save red user, go ahead and close it. We don't need it again. Open up your attack.php. If you scroll down on your attack.php, I've actually added video 6 in here in between some, some quotes so you guys can kind of, not quotes, but comments, so you guys can see what new I've added here. If you go, if you see in your current script, it says echo, the creature has been killed. In other words, you've killed the creature. Update the creature. Right below that, we're going to enter in some new code. The, the way I look at it is is if you're a first level player and you killed a fifth level creature that should be worth more experience than if you're a fifth level player and you kill a first level creature because who you know fifth level player should be able to kill it you don't get as much experience so I threw in a little bit of code to kind of change that around nothing super complicated nothing dynamic it's just a simple thing that we can get through there is easier ways to do this but I wrote this completely out so you guys can understand it first thing we want to do is we want to take if the player player's level is greater than the creature level. Let's take the first scenario. We're level four and the creature's level one. We'd fall into this if our we're level four, so we are greater. I made a couple variables. First mod, the variable first mod is equal to our player level, which is four, 
minus the creature level which is one now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up a calculator just so you guys can kinda see the math behind it it's real simple math it's nothing complicated so basically once once we get that so we're basically saying four minus one and I know we can do this in our head but I wanna walk everybody through it the second mod which actually equals three is going to be or actually I'm sorry the second mod equals the first mod which equals three times ten so let's do times ten equals thirty so it's saying if the second mod if thirty is greater than ninety it's not then if it was it would say equals ninety the reason why I did this is let's say you're a twentieth level player and you kill a first level creature well that's gonna make this number so small you're not even really gonna get any experience so I made it max out you at least get ten percent experience no matter what and you'll understand that as we get through this anyway we don't equal greater than 90 so we're gonna skip this third mod equals the second mod which is 30 divided by 100 if you notice I put these in parentheses and basic math says it you're it always does everything in parentheses first so second mo second mod divided by 100 so we're gonna do divided by 100 equals 0.3 times the experience let's say the creatures worth 50 experience so we want to do times 50 equals 0 .0003. The next thing we're going to do is total experience. You know what? That's actually wrong. We were at 30 divided by 100. It's 0.03 times 50 equals 15 I don't know what I did wrong maybe I'll go back and watch it and say oops but anyway that's right 15 experience uh, so that means total experience equals the creature info experience which is 50 minus the third mod so we're gonna do 50 minus 15 and you may be like what is he doing here but you'll figure it out here in a second 35 so that means we gain 35 experience we didn't gain the full 50 because we're higher level so it only gave us 35 now let's look at the other option Else, if the player is higher, if the creature is, is uh, higher level than us, that means we're killing something stronger than us. We should get more experience. We do the same math here. First mod times 10. Uh, same stuff all the way to the very end. So if you remember, let's let's take the same scenario. Creature level, except for we're going to swap it. Creature, creature is fourth level. We're first level. So that's 4 minus 3, or 4 minus 1 equals 3. Uh, 3 times 10 is 30. It doesn't equal this. Uh, the second mod divided by 100 is 0 .03 times the 50 equals 15. So that means the creature experience plus the third mod. So that means 50 plus 15. I know this is silly, but we're doing it anyway. Equals 65 experience. So since we're level, exp since we're lower level, we get more experience. The reason why I do that is because it's not very much fun when everything you kill is the exact same experience, no matter how high level it is. So I kind of threw that in there just to kind of give it a little more fun to it that way it'll make players want to kill bigger creatures there is easier ways to do that there's better ways in doing this but yeah, I figure that's the easiest way to do it so anyway regardless one of these things are gonna happen when it does echo um, put in a break I put in bold big you gain 15 or or 35 or 65 whatever it was experience and then I, I ended all that also put another break in there so when it comes out to here uh, then we want to update the player database. So update player, update player set experience equals experience plus that total experience where name equals player. So that's pretty self-explanatory. That's all it's doing. And then we want to echo our link go back. Let's go ahead and test this out. I made a new player. I called him.